welcome back to another show i'm sid and in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to recreate this superhero super villain criminal hero mask type effect uh it's pretty simple you only need to use spark studio spark al studio which is free and any photo editing software i'm using gimp which is also free uh yeah let's get straight into it i'll create a new project and we can minimize this things are lagging a little bit uh, so hopefully I can get through this no problem so the first thing you want to do is open up your photo editing software we'll leave this new project for a minute come back to it hopefully having the camera open doesn't break my computer but we'll see so you will want to grab your face reference assets pack and the masculine face mask and the face mesh trackers you can download these there's a link in the description but they're available for free from Facebook as part of the uh, assets collection for Spark Studio. So what we're going to want to do once we have this, we see we have our mask and we have we have our our face and we have our mesh with the trackers. We're going to want to create a new layer on top of that. We're going to call that mask. And just come up here. And what we're going to want to do is select our free select tool. Come in here to the bridge of the nose and just sort of start tracing your way around in the shape of what you want your mask to look like now it's handy to have the mesh here so you can sort of go off the beaten path a little bit if you want give it sort of a little bit of flair now I have to do that on the other side which is annoying uh, I hope I get this kind of right something like that and then we'll bring it all the way down and around it doesn't have to be too perfect you could take some more time go in and edit it a little bit and adjust things later but for now this is just a quick uh, tutorial it's nice to start as well on the bridge of the nose because it's, it keeps things symmetrical so now if you want you can come in and you can just adjust some little bits if you want to move things around just to, just to tidy them up Maybe this horn is a little bit too much to that side, so I want to pull it in and come over here. Maybe you can drag it up slightly. Yeah, I think that's good. So now what we want to do is grab our paint bucket. It's already set to white, so we'll just add that block color completely. And now let's re remove these behind the these layers that are behind. And what we're left with is just a, bl a plain white face mask. So now we'll export that to the desktop as mask. Oh. Sorry, it's very late. Mask.png. PNG. Yep, I'm filming this at four in the morning uh, just because I want to get some videos out on Christmas Eve because I've, uh, I felt kind of bad about not filming one yesterday or Sunday, I mean. So yeah, anyway, now we have this. We'll bring this back in. We've got that layer, but we don't need it right now. So we'll add a new layer. We're going to call this one eyes. And this is going to be for the white eyes underneath. So we'll get rid of that uh, original mask design. And we'll come in here and we'll... Well, we'll, well this, need, this doesn't need to be as accurate. So what we're going to do is we're just going to do a couple squares. Just loose around the eyes and we're going to fill those in with paint the same way uh, we'll do it again over here and because this layer is going to appear mostly behind except for the actual eye part which will be tracked out by Spark AR Studio uh, this, this doesn't really matter too much so we can remove these layers now and what we're left with and we can export that and we just call that white eyes.png and that'll go to the desktop as well and once we have those files ready to go exported hopefully as long as my computer is still running it's probably because of that in the, in the corner that little one the, the demo that I started at the beginning anyway now we have those files we'll minimize this we'll come over here and we can add our first face mesh to our scene this one we're going to call mask, keep things nice and simple, 
add a material layer to this one and um, we'll select our texture which in this case is our mask so now we have that it's starting to show up I'm just gonna have to close this because it's uh, <laughs> starting to mess around with everything else but yep so now we have our mask we can change the color of this make it red make it orange like I think we'll keep it red like I had in the thumbnail uh, uh, yeah but it doesn't really look too realistic just now so we'll change the shader type over here to physically based which gives it more depth and more, and more as though it's a real object in the world uh, and then we'll come down here to environment we'll check that box and we'll choose an add asset we'll select from our environment presets and we choose balcony because why not there are other images available online you can go to HDRI Haven for example which is a website that offers free HDRIs 360 degrees for free run by patreon account uh, so yeah there's plenty more out there but these are just the ones that I'm going to be using today as an example we'll select the balcony texture you can see immediately it gives it that reflective sort of uh, that, 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 that illusion that it's a 3D object in the, in the real world and you can come over here you can adjust some of these parameters you can give it more of a metallic if you want the guy to have a chrome mask or if you want things to be a little more dull you can remove some of that make it more matte but yeah, basically this is, if we play around with it, we should bring this down to around 30. I like round numbers. And then, uh, I guess up here, what, like 40? Does that work? Yeah, that's not too bad. So now we have our mask pretty much done. I like the horns as well. We'll add a second mesh to our scene, uh, which is tracking, which we also want inside of our face tracker. And we want it underneath our original layer so now you can see we've got our mask in front our eyes are being tracked out and here's our other mask mesh that we've created so we'll rename this one eyes and we'll add a material which will be a flat one uh, because you want a smooth color that doesn't want that doesn't reflect the light in the same way and this time we're going to select white eyes our big old square eyes and as you can see hopefully uh, nope you can't because I haven't disabled the tracking for the eyes as you can see now we have our face mask and you can do the same thing you can change the color of these and you can have any any sort of shade you like but that's pretty much the effect uh, so if I pull over to the, the camera that we have here I've basically we made the same thing that I just closed in that other program. Yeah, so you can adjust some of them. Now that it's on my face, I can see that some of this is maybe a little bit... Maybe it needs some adjusting. You can change the rotation and get different light reflecting. But yeah, other than that, it is more or less done. So uh, I hope this helps some people. Uh, I know it was a little bit long and rambling, but it is quite late, and I'm trying to just make a video on Christmas Eve because I like I like doing this, and it, I kind of felt bad when I didn't make one on a Sunday, even though there aren't that many people watching. I've been getting a few views, and it's interesting, and it's uh it's kind of you know got me pumped up to make some more videos like this. So yeah. Anyway, I'll try and do a shorter two-minute version uh, in case anybody's interested in that as well. Let me know. Uh, I haven't had many comments or likes but those sort of things that's why, I'm, that's why I'm making both types of videos so I can see what sort of thing people are interested in and also just to help me learn by repeatedly doing things over and over again I'm getting into the habit of doing it creating these projects and I myself I'm getting better and improving as I maybe am helping some other people you know so it's uh, hopefully it's all working out L for everyone but yeah anyway this has been a long video about 10 minutes now thank you for watching leave a long, leave a like leave a like comment and subscribe if you feel like it and i'll see you next time